Aridomyrmex purpius, the meat ant, iconic to Australia. And are you interested to see how this colony has been progressing? The months are starting to get warmer and things are happening. Let's see what's going on with Queen Opal and her colony. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. Well, the months are getting warmer. And you know what that means for an ant colony. The brood starts to develop and things start to ramp up in this colony. So today we're going to have a look at Queen Opal and the Scavenger Gems, named by one of my Patreons. And let's see how things are progressing. Now, in the outworld, there's a little bit of activity going on here. We can see them scurrying around in the outworld here, um, which is nice to see a little bit of activity happening. We can see partially a little bit of a mealworm there that I've cut up and placed in here. Boy, do they love their protein. These ones, the species, this colony, is probably the one I give the most food to because they are ravenous. And here we can see one of the workers getting really stuck into this mealworm. Uh, clearly, I think she wants to move it and she's going to try everything she can. They are very strong and their jaws are really powerful. Um, if they get on you, you will feel the nip as well. Here's another one just exploring the liquid feeder and this one's just got some water in there for them. But what a beautiful, nice coloured species. Outworld is a little bit boring. Do you think it's time for a bit of a change for the outworld? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear some feedback about the outworld and what you'd like to see be great. Now an interesting thing we notice here is the little entrance to the nests. We can see a worker just emerged there but we can see there's another one just sitting and waiting guarding the entrance to the nest. Beautiful behaviours that you see. Even in captivity here it's a behaviour that you'd see in the wild. And this worker's back into it again. She is trying everything she can to pull that mealworm down into the nest where they want their protein for the brood. So really nice colony. I'm really enjoying watching them here in the outworld. But what we want to see is what is going on down in that nest. Because I think this summer we are going to have a massive explosion in this colony and it's going to start to go exponential. The growth and I'm going to need to upgrade the nest and also this outworld. I really want to give the outworld a bit of a spruce up make it really nice for this beautiful beautiful species that I really do enjoy watching and keeping and this is probably one of the colonies that I've kept doing the updates continually for you because I want you to enjoy the journey along with me for this particular colony so let me know if you like it and please hit that like button down in the down below all right you ready to have a look inside the nest well first of all let's look inside the Ants Canada nest that I've uh, connected up here this is the hybrid mini and look at that brood. It is packed in those top couple of chambers. Now on the top right there, that leads off into the Ozance acrylic nest that I have connected, the original nest. But look at all of this beautiful brood that is here. You can see part of a mealworm there as well that they've dragged down into the nest just so they've got that ready access to that protein and no one else can steal it. Which in the wild, again, is something that they would do. So we can see the piles of brood that we have here that are progressing. Let's have a little bit of a closer look though and see what we can see about this brood. So here we go. Look, there's one worker there, but we've got a cluster of beautiful eggs sitting there, which is really nice to see. So they've brought that over from the queen. Nice cluster of fresh eggs. And we can see a lot of larvae here. Now that looks like there's one worker there who is nearly fully developed and will uh, enclose very soon. Now one thing about this species, they don't spin cocoons at all. So it goes from the larvae into that stage of the pupae where they basically just animate and come alive and harden up. Beautiful to see though. Something I like because they're the only species I keep that does that. So we can see there's plenty of larvae here, but there's only that really that one worker so far perhaps that's, that's going to animate fairly soon. So that's really interesting to see. Is it starting to ramp up? Because that's one of the first ones that I've seen in the last couple of weeks. So that's really good. Look at the beautiful different stages that we have here too. So we've got a nice young one there in the middle. And then you can see the big plumper ones that must be ready to start developing. 
as these workers busily chew on some of this meat ant that they've dragged down into the nest. How great is it to go up nice and close and see a colony like this? This is beautiful. You don't see this in the wild. And this is one of the amazing things I like about ant keeping. Okay, so that's in the Ants Canada nest there. Now it's time to have a look inside the Oz Ants acrylic nest. And this is the original home, of this meat ant colony. And here we go. So again, it's not as fully packed here, but still plenty of activity. And we can see that Queen Opal is there on the top right. So again, on the left here, we've got some mealworm, but let's have a look, a closer look at all of this. So this piece of mealworm they've dragged in here, which is important again to have that protein source close. And we've just got some workers relaxing just inside the acrylic nest here. One doing a little bit of cleaning there. But how beautiful is this species? You really see those ready colors in their head, in starting into their thorax and then down to their abdomen is that metallic -y, deep, rich sort of dark color. Aren't they beautiful? I wonder what she's doing. What is she thinking? Maybe she's having a micro sleep. What do you think? Well, as we move around here, we can see the activity uh, that's going on. There's plenty happening. And we've got the queen here, Queen Opal, which is just beautiful. And as we zoom in here, I'll try and focus a little bit on her head here. You can see those acilli, those three little dots in the middle of her head. Those are the little light sensors that she uses for navigation. Now, as we come around here, this is the bit that's really exciting to see. We have plenty of workers here ready to emerge. So they're all ready to go. You can see the little dark uh, black dots of their eyes as they start to develop and they'll just start to animate and come alive. So we've got a nice beautiful pile here. It's a little hard to focus on them, unfortunately, but we can see them starting to come alive very soon. So I would say in the next little while, even the next few days, those workers will start to come alive and the brood will develop. How beautiful is this colony doing? For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information, and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons for supporting the channel. Thank you, Medical Carcass 9, Hugh Janis, K Single, Gordon C, Ant Nation, Nicholas Strano, and the Dragon Bloom. I really appreciate it. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. There's a video there recommended for you, which I think you'll like, and one that I've handpicked for you. Special video just for you. So I hope you really enjoy it, and remember, happy ant keeping.